There is no fixed period. There is no. Uh, but uh, say for me, and uh, I was trained. My father was of this line. Oh, your father did. Oh yes, my father trained me from childhood. Ah. Yes, and then I met my spiritual master in 1972, and I was initiated in 1972. On the whole, there was a background. Because as I told you, the eighty, ninety percent people are Krishna concert, mm-hmm. by family wise. Easy. Uh-huh. Okay. So we are trained up from the beginning of our life. Officially, of course, I accepted my spiritual master in 1933. Okay. Uh, since then, I had some background, and since I met, I developed. I see. I see. So you have been, in a sense spreading this word since 1933 on your own? No. I am spreading as missionary since 1900, uh, practically since uh, 59. 59, yes. I see. What did you do when, from the time? I was, I was a householder. I was doing business in medicine. Uh, formerly I was manager in a big chemical farm. But oh. I was cultivating this knowledge. Uh, although I was householder, I was publishing this back to Godhead. So oh, you were publishing that in India. Oh, yeah. I see. Yeah. So I started in 1947. Yeah. Under the order of my spiritual master. So whatever I was earning, I was spending. Mm-hmm. Yes. I was not getting any return, but I was distributing. Mm-hmm. So I was doing this business mm-hmm. since a long time. But actually, after giving up all connection with my family and doing this. Uh, was well, since 1959. But do you have children? Uh? Oh yes, I've got grown-up boys. Well, well, you just left them? Yes. Yeah. I've got my wife, my grandchildren, everyone. But I have no connection with them. You're They're doing their own way. Uh, my wife is interested to the elderly boys. Yes. Well, is that a, I mean, I find that sort of difficult to uh, what assimilate. Is that? To give up your family and just sort of say, see Yes, okay. yes, that is the Vedic uh, regulation. Oh. One, everyone should give up a family connection at a certain age, after the age of fifty. One should not remain in family life. That is Vedic culture. Not that after death one is in family uh, wise. No, that is not good. Can you explain? First, first of all, a boy is trained as Brahmacharya, spiritual life. Then he is advised not to enter family life. But if he is unable to control his sex life, he is allowed. All right, you get yourself married. Then he remains in family life. Say he marries at the age of twenty-four or twenty-five. He is twenty-five years, let him enjoy sex life. In the meantime, he gets some elderly children. So at the age of fifty, the husband and wife goes away from the home and they travel in all places of pilgrimage just to detach them from family affection. In this way, when the man is a little more advanced, he asks his wife that you go and take care of the family and your sons, grown up, they will take care of you. Let me take some care. So he becomes alone and preaches the knowledge he gives them. This is Vedic series. Not that a man should remain in family life from birth to death. No. In Buddhism also, there is compulsory regulatory principle that a Buddhist must have become a sannyasi at least for ten years. Hmm. Because the whole idea is how to attain spiritual perfection. 
So if one remains in family life encumbered, he cannot make any spiritual advancement. But if the family also, whole family is Krishna conscious, then it is helpful. But that is very rare. Uh, because the husband may be Krishna conscious, the wife may not be. But uh, the culture was so nice that everyone uh, remained Krishna conscious. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama. Rama.